So in this video, we're gonna compare the ASUS Chromebook Detachable CM3 versus the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. Pricing on these are gonna be somewhat similar. The Duet starts at $299 without the stylus, or you can pay 40 bucks more with the stylus included. And that's with four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. The ASUS CM3 is a tad bit more expensive. You're gonna start getting closer to that $400, but it comes with a built-in stylus, and it comes with four gigabytes of RAM up to 128 gigabytes of storage. Now the screens on these are actually very similar. The ASUS tablet is a little more squared off on the edges, where Lenovo has the more rounded corners, which I think does look a little better. But the ASUS display is slightly larger at 10.5 inch versus 10.1 inch on the Chromebook Duet. Both have pretty good viewing angles though, and they're both 1080p resolution. Brightness on these are just okay. They're definitely gonna struggle outdoors. Lenovo is 400 nits and ASUS is 320. Overall though, I think most people are gonna enjoy the screen on both of these tablets. Now when it comes to battery life, that's not going to be real strong on either of these tablets, especially when compared to a regular Android tablet that are similar size. In fact, during my battery drain test, the ASUS just edged out the Chromebook Duet at five and a half hours versus only four and a half hours for the Chromebook Duet. Now keep in mind, this is at full screen brightness, so you can definitely get better than that just by turning the screen brightness down. But then again, the screen brightness needs to be a little brighter in my opinion. So will people use it at a lower brightness? Mm, probably not. Anyways, if you want the tablet with better battery life, then you're gonna wanna go with ASUS. Now the speakers on both of these devices are pretty good as far as being clear. You don't really get bass on either of these, but the problem is the overall volume is really low on both tablets. Like I'm talking at full volume, they sound pretty much like they're at half volume compared to some of my other devices I have. Luckily the ASUS tablet has a headphone jack. Although the weird thing is my gaming headset didn't really sound that good, but then it sounded great with my Bose headphones. So I'm not sure why that's the case. So yeah, it's sort of hit or miss on which headphones are gonna sound good on here. The Chromebook Duet doesn't have a headphone jack, so you're gonna have to stick with Bluetooth on that one. When it comes to the keyboard on both of these, they're actually pretty good, but there are some noticeable differences. The trackpads are both pretty similar as well. ASUS is slightly more clicky and the keys are a little bit thicker. They also travel a little bit further and they're more clicky than on the Chromebook Duet as well. The layout of the keys and what shortcuts you get are pretty much identical when comparing these two. The Chromebook Duet definitely looks a little more modern in my opinion. And it reminds me more of the official keyboard cases that come with some tablets. But functionality wise, I actually prefer the ASUS keyboard. It just feels slightly more like, well, like a real laptop to me than the Duet. The Chromebook Duet sort of has a weird hinge that makes it pretty much unusable when it's on your lap because it wobbles so much. While the ASUS keyboard is nice and sturdy and it doesn't really move much. And it just seems to be a better design as far as the hinge goes. So if you want the Chromebook tablet with a better keyboard, yeah, you're gonna wanna go with ASUS. Now the Geekbench scores on these two tablets are really close, pretty much identical on single core scores. And then the ASUS is a little bit faster on multi-core scores. One downside to these two tablets, you're not gonna be able to play the same games that you'll be able to play on say a regular Android tablet. For instance, you can't play Call of Duty Mobile, but they do have PUBG Mobile. And then of course you can play things like Google Stadia, which is pretty cool if you haven't tried it. And there's also other online game streaming services that I personally don't use just because because, well, I'm kind of cheap and don't want to pay for it. Cameras on these are not really great at all. Not that most people would be using these cameras to take photos, but you might want to use them for video conferencing like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. I'd probably go with the ASUS tablet just because the front facing camera seems to struggle a little bit more on the Chromebook Duet. I still think that you should use your cell phone over these because the resolution is pretty low on both, but if you want bad video quality to cover some of those imperfections on your skin or something, then yeah, you may want to use these. So over Overall, I like both of what these companies are doing, making these Chromebooks detachable. Are they both lacking in the power department? Sure, which is why I probably wouldn't pick these up for anything intensive, but I think it just depends on what you're gonna be using these for. If you're just browsing online, watching movies, maybe some light gaming, getting some schoolwork done, I think these could be a good option for you. And the build quality definitely feels really nice on both. 
They even look pretty similar as far as the style of cover that's on them. And they both have keyboards included. So that's really good if you're wanting a Chromebook that just happens to be a tablet as well. And there's really just not a lot of options out there right now when it comes to Chromebook tablets. I'd personally like to see a larger version of these, but if I had to pick just one of these, I'd probably have to lean slightly towards the Asus Chromebook Detachable CM3. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.